hey youtube it's lisa welcome back to my channel um today i've got an unboxing i've got something special from canada i finally placed an order with wonderland pens did i say that right i'm sorry wonder pens um out of canada um they had an ink that i saw i know i said i wasn't gonna buy any more ink but I, look i've got a problem and i know it <laughs> but they had um an ink that i saw and then they were having a slight sell or their prices were better in canadian dollars than they were us and i saw a pen that i had been wanting and it was on sale actually and the price was better out of canada than it was in the us so i finally um <clears throat> took advantage of it because it's a pen that i've had on my list there's not that many left that are on my list but i do have probably seven pins or less on my list and this ticked off the box for one of them and then i think i might have gotten more than one i got it because it was cheaper in canada than the united states so let's look in and see what i got here very excited packaging is very good just take out my personal information just let me check the invoice so I can know exactly what I got. I got this nice card with the cat swishing its tail over I think its own image. Very nice from Wonderland Pins. Wonder Pins. Okay, let me just check this. Yes, I did. So, um, I will be doing this. So, just take everything out like that. I like their packaging. It's very environmentally friendly. Okay. Okay. I did not buy an extra pen from this place. I just got the one and one bottle of ink. So I feel like I... I did a decent job on not going too crazy. Um, the first thing that I got is this bottle of ink. And this is a limited edition. I was trying to get this as an ink sample, but I could not find it anywhere in the U.S. So, unfortunately, I had to buy the bottle of ink. But I absolutely kind of like this kind of bluish gray kind of ink. And even though I have a lot of blue ink, I don't really have a ton of this. I've got samples, but nothing in a bottle. So I don't mind buying the, bo the one bottle. And that is the ink color. The color's name is, this is Kyo no Oto. Um, the ink is a limited edition Ginku Shikua ink. So I've got the full bottle. It's a 40 milliliter bottle of ink. Throw that away. Look at that. Oh, it's just so pretty. And it is a shimmering ink. Absolutely stunning. It's really, really nice like their inks and I like the bottle and I like the size of the bottle too it's a little bit more than I probably would want I 20 milliliters probably would have worked but um, there's that so let me zoom in on that one and um, yeah so I don't know how many more bottles but if you're interested in it that's the only place that I know who had it was wonder wonder pins out of Canada and lastly what I have here is a Lamy and this will be my last Lamy purchase I won't be buying any more um, I'm saturated with Lamy's um, but I really wanted to get this one this was one of the ones that everybody raves about and it is the Lamy 2000 and I'm really really looking forward to getting in that underneath the um, pen pillow is the instructions and all the history of Lamy pens and I did kind of oscillate between this. I was thinking about getting the Lamy CC. And 
I just, at this point, right now, at this point in time, I'm holding off on getting the Lamy CC. Snap closure really wants to snap, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Um, put this back here like so. I got the fine nib version of the pen because it is a Western pen, and so I don't really want a really broad nib. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a coughing fit. Um, so let's just uh, get into this pen. I got the black version. I don't think the limited edition um, colors in blue and brown are available any longer, but um, I went ahead and got the black. Looking forward to having this as part of my EDC carry. I'm just going to slap the packaging back into the original box. Just in case in the future I decide to get rid of said pen, it's all together. And on the side here, I have um, things to do samples with. And I'm not going to ink up this particular pen with this ink because it's a shimmering ink. And uh, I'd rather use a broader nib so I can see the ink qualities of this one. But I will dip it and do a writing sample here in one of these books here. So let's just do Tomo River since it's handy. Let me get my pen and my swatching tool out. And then I'll ink up the pen um, with this Blue Australis ink that I had in a previous sample from Jaco Bon. So let's just and grab this really quick. So let's do the ink sample first of this. I'll just go ahead and shake this up a little bit so that I can disperse all the yummy shimmerness of that ink into the top. The color is absolutely gorgeous. And now I'm going to fight with the lid. Got water over here to the side. And let's bring you down. Oh, I love this color. It's pretty. Oh, it's so nice. And actually, let's see how it looks on onion skin paper as well, since I have so much of it on my Toma River. And I will grab my ding bats. of that ready I see a familiar pattern because I see all the other ink samples recently that I've done oh really nice and this is a heavy swatch <clears throat> So I'm going to do a little bit more on the onion skin. Okay, so let me just rinse that off. Put this page down. I have a paper towel over here to the side, so I'm just going to, oops, make sure I got all the ink cleaned out of the automatic tool pen. Do a dip test now I'm sure <laughs> even though I just got done rotating all of this ink I'm sure it's already gone back down to the bottom a little bit so I'm gonna just 
rotate this again so I can get some into my nib unit. at my sheet so I can just basically make sure I have the name written right so this oops I can see it's getting ready to drip off of here Kyo no Oto and this is G I N Writes stunningly, it's so pretty. Um, let's do it on the onion skin paper as well. And again, I know I'm losing, I'm gonna get some settlement because it's. Settling down into the to the body of the pen already. And this is a actually it's a 2021 limited edition. And the color. me of a pair of faded blue jeans a little bit it's just a really really pretty deep blue gray ink color and I tend to gravitate towards this kind of color in the winter time when you know snow is falling and it's kind of got that you know evening night sky with snow in the background but the uh, sky looks kind of indigo it's really pretty Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. No, oh, no, sorry. Limited edition. Twenty, twenty-one. I'll squeeze that in there. And I do think that this is going to be more of a shading ink just while this writes. So let me just go. That's what that looks like on <clears throat> Tomo, uh, Tomo River paper. Didn't do that writing depth as deep in the other ones. Um, I will do this one. Onion skin paper is a little bit um, trickier because it is slicker, um, but it's going to be very smooth on most fountain pens. Um, but it can also move a little bit more because of it. I might have liked T V W X Y Z. Okay. Oh, 
almost got them all in there so <clears throat> I'm not gonna do it on the smaller book um, I'm gonna just leave that as is but that is that ink sample and I'm gonna let these dry while I go ahead and work on inking up the Lamy so I'm just gonna set these to the side and I'll let those kind of have at it let me just clean off my nib here yeah I really I really like this color um, I ran out of my pilot Irizuku ink that I had Fuyu Saigon which is almost my gray ink is almost gone um, so I'm trying to find alternatives just so I can rotate what I have and this is a great rotation and this is only the second bottle of this type of ink that I have the other one that I have is a fall color which is absolutely gorgeous <clears throat> and you will probably see it in the fall of this year God willing in the creek doesn't rise all right so let's get into this one um, I know I have seen other people do videos on it I think this is a piston filler so I'm gonna just yep there it goes I have this little ink sample here hopefully I will be able to get this into here okay and I know normally I would try to um, rinse the cap or rinse the flush the pen but in this case I'm going to just go for it and hopefully I've got some ink in the ink window so there is a very small ink window and I'm hoping that I see some ink slushing around in there let me put this on here so I don't knock this over but it is a surefire way to prime a nib that's for sure let's just get this rinsed off and it's another blue ink but I feel like this inks a fairly safe one for this pen and the balance is good the pen is not overly overly large I don't have any problem dealing with a steel grip section um, it feels really good in hand actually I understand now why a lot of people like it let me just post this and it posts very nicely um, just feels really good in hand actually so hopefully this will be another solid buy so I've got here oh my god this pen is buttery smooth 2000 and I have it in a fine nib Wow. Okay, this pen is definitely living up <laughs> to every other review of the pen. It is absolutely a dream writer. I I'm kind of blown away. This is this is a very out of all the Lamy pens I have, I think this is my best writing one by far, hands down. Really, really smooth writing. Um even in a fine nib I actually like how it flows it, it wasn't a problem to fill it up or prime it it just sucked up the uh, ink quite nicely oh this is just this is going to be one of my my faves um, let's do this I mean it's just it's so smooth even for a fine nib um, and it's not quite as fine of course as a Western I mean a Japanese fine but it's it's close and let's see how that writes in reverse okay it writes in reverse not horrible um, but I probably wouldn't try to do a lot of reverse writing with this particular pen at all 
Oh yeah, this one is a this is a winner. This is a five out of a five star. This is just fantastic. Um, all right, so that's all I have. I will continue to write with this pen and I'll let you know my feedback further down the line. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I really do appreciate you guys sticking to the end. And please hit that smash button so you'll know when other ones come out. Until next time, take care, stay safe. I know, I forgot the ink samples. Uh, this one, I wrapped up my video and I'm gonna have to insert this. This one is still not quite dry, but it's got a little bit of a hint of a shimmer to it. And I don't know if I can pick this up in the light. The ink is still wet. Oh yeah, I can see, and you gotta do an extreme tilt, um, but I can see some shimmer to it. It's not dry here. Let me show you what it looks like on the back. On Toma River, and as well as the blue estrals from Jacobran. No bleed through, but really almost does with the um, heavy ink splotch, which is still not dry. In my um, Dingbats journal, again, the ink is not dry yet, but it's holding up really quite well. And yeah, you're gonna get ghosting on that splotch because it's still wet and it hasn't dried but overall holding up really quite well. The ink does have a very little bit, I should say very little. It has some sheen, but it's not a lot of sheen. And it has beautiful tones of like a little bit of blue shimmer to it. Um, blue kind of silver, blue silverish shimmer to it. Um, but again, at the end of the video, this is still not dry. So I really can't show you what it's gonna look like completely dry because they're still drying. And then on the onion skin paper, it has dried for the most part and it reflects the qualities of this ink in a swatch fantastically. Um, from a writing perspective, I would say that this is gonna require a medium nib pen if you really wanna see the qualities and some of it did bleed through onto the next page. The swatch kind of dug into the fibers of it, but you can see, which unfortunately is probably not reflecting very well on camera, the properties of the ink. So there you have it. That is what the ink samples look like in, let me zoom back out, three different um, types of notebook, Toma River, Dingbats, and Onion Skin Paper. Um, Sorry about that, had to come back because I remember that I didn't do that. Um, so this is it this time. Take care and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.